Okay, hi everybody. I think this is attempt number three. I I keep managing to stop the video instead of pausing it. So we're going to run through this one more time. Um, this is Physics 141, problem number 24, or oh, sorry, chapter 4, problem 46 on page 613. And this problem is uh, a problem that reads that you are on an airplane and you have your tray extended in front of you. Um, you have a cup of coffee on the table and it's flying at a constant altitude, so that means we are horizontal, and a constant velocity. The coefficient of static friction between the cup and the table is 0.3. So that's this coefficient right here. That is the stickiness of the connection between the cup and the table. Um, suddenly the plane accelerates forward, the altitude remaining constant. What is the maximum acceleration that the plane can have without the cup sliding backwards. Okay, so you would normally see this phenomenon in your car, and most of the time it would happen if you have something sitting on the seat next to you and you hit the brakes. If you hit the brakes and you hit them too hard, you're going to break that coefficient of static friction, and what happens is the seat actually decelerates, but your objects keep going at a constant speed. So what this coffee cup wants to do is keep traveling at the speed that it was going, but the plane is going to speed up. And if it speeds up with too much acceleration, it's going to break that static frictional force and the tray is going to slide out from underneath it. So I have a force diagram here. Remember, just because we're on an airplane, gravity doesn't go away. So we have the object's weight downward being canceled by the normal force upward on the cup. We do have acceleration, but only in the x direction. and um, and, uh, and that, that acceleration is being caused by the static frictional force. So here is our Newton's second law equation in the x direction. Sum of all the forces, there's just one, it's that static frictional force, is equal to ma. Okay, so here we have them written out. So the sum of our forces in the y direction is normal force upward and gravity downward. The sum of those forces is zero because our coffee cup is neither rising nor falling because our plane is traveling at a constant altitude. Uh, in the x direction, we have our maximum static frictional force is equal to ma. Now, as soon as this a gets big enough, um, that thing is going to break free, and that's the question that we're trying to answer. Now, remember, your maximum static frictional force is equal to that coefficient of static friction times the normal force. And we've been given that coefficient, which is 0.3. Okay, so um, this is a trick that is commonly used in physics problems because a lot of things don't actually depend on mass. And in this case, that static frictional force depends only on that coefficient, and here's why. It's because your normal force is going to equal mg. If we rearrange this equation, we've got fn is equal to mg, and then we have m in every term in this equation, and we can eliminate it. All right, I'm going to get rid of some of this so we can keep working. We don't need our coffee cup, really. Got our force diagram right here so we can still see what's happening. And I'm going to rewrite this equation to show the equivalency between our normal force and mg. So we have fn is equal to mg. And then we can take this information and plug it into this equation down here. Okay, at this point, we can eliminate mass from both sides. So that tells us that the maximum acceleration we can go, we can have uh, before we break that static frictional force is going to equal that coefficient of static friction times gravity, and that's going to equal our acceleration. Okay, so this tells you that, that really, if you're on a level surface, that static frictional force and its relationship to how much acceleration it can handle is related to two things. The first one is how sticky are these surfaces, and the second one is what planet you're on. Now, if you remember, we watched that video of astronauts falling down on the moon. Uh, I'm going to post that one again just in case you need a laugh, and uh, I know I do today, and that video never gets old. Well, one of the reasons that astronauts had such a hard time keeping their footing on the moon is because the gravitational force there is so much lower than it is on Earth. Now, if we want to plug numbers in here and get a solution for this, that's uh, static friction coefficient is 0.3. 
We're going to multiply that by g, which is 9.8. I'm already running out of space here on this tiny board. All right, and at this point, I'm going to let you guys plug that into your calculator because I think mine is downstairs, but I'm not exactly sure. All right, this is problem number 46. Please complete this problem and email me if you have any additional questions.